which, by the way, you know, I work at a farm I call Sunraven. Um, and the Sunraven, the word that I chose, the two words that I put together for this farm was because I, there was a raven who used to live in this home. The people who had this old farmhouse before I did were wildlife photographers, and they harbored and rescued animals that were abandoned. And in New York, uh, years ago, there were actual, actually ravens. And this one raven was uh, obviously in trouble, and they brought the raven to the house and, and lived in the house with this raven for a long time. And when I bought the property, I knew the story of the raven. And the, it just seemed like the, the house already had that identity of the raven. And I put the word sun with raven together uh, because I very much liked the sun. And um, the raven seemed dark to me, and um, I just wanted to neutralize it in some way. Well, anyway, after I thought I came up with the word sun raven, I looked it up on the internet, as people do, and I realized that it's a very old totem from the Pacific mm -hmm. Northwest of North America. And it's the story of the restoration of light. It's, mm -hmm. you know, it's about an old grumpy man who stole the sun out of the sky, and eventually the world was so dark and troubled uh, until the old man who loved his granddaughter, wanted to give her a present, and she asked for a box where the old man kept the sun. And the raven uh, tricked the man to thinking that the raven was the granddaughter, and the raven, who was the trickster, um, got the box, because the grandfather was kind enough to give her, the only person he really cared about, the box, and let the sun back into the sky. And the story of my work, too, is is at least my intention is, you know, I know people are in dark places often. Um, and it's not to cure them. It's not to eliminate things um, entirely, but it is to help restore light. And when mm. we have some light in our lives, we can carry on. Mm. Um, and there's a lot of ways of getting light back. Mm. Um, and music is a very powerful one. It's a very mm. powerful medium. It's something human beings have been doing for a long time. Many animals create music. Um, it's about vibration. It's about tone. It's about harmony. It's about, it's deeper than word. It's, it's, it's physics uh, in some way, but the physics of the universe. <laughs>